welcome back to Living Local TV. He's a music man who just happens to know a thing or two around the kitchen. Here's Chef JJ with a local twist on a locale dish of island fish. Aloha and welcome back to Living Locale on Living Local. My name is Chef JJ. Today I'm going to prepare a very, very nice dish. Uh, and this is actually inspired by the local fried rice. So what I'm doing, it's a pan roasted mahi-mahi with a pineapple fried farro. So you may be asking yourself, what is farro? Farro is actually an ancient grain. It's an ancient strain of wheat. I know what you're thinking, wheat equals gluten, but it's actually a very low level of gluten. So you're gonna get a little bit of gluten, but it is whole grains and it's got a lot of fiber. It's got protein, it's got a lot of minerals as well. So what I'm doing is I'm taking our local mahi-mahi, very, very beautiful fish. I've actually pan roasted that to save some time. So what I wanna show you today is how to work with this farro. So I've taken the farro and I've already boiled it so that it's a little bit soft and you can use it just like you would rice. So we're gonna start uh, with my Eva Sweet Onions. Very, very nice product right, right here from Oahu. And start to cook those very lightly. A little bit of garlic. So most of you at home are thinking, yep, fried rice. You guys are used to using, uh, used to making this at home. A little ginger, I like ginger. I also like to put some celery in with my fried rice. So we're gonna let that cook for just a second. While that's cooking, I've got some local tomatoes, Ho Farm tomatoes, just wanna quarter them. Again, I'm using the tomatoes, I'm gonna to put them in right at the end because I really wanna have that nice color to my fried farro. I think three tomatoes should be enough for this batch. Uh, some of the other vegetables that I'm gonna actually use for this, I have a Sumida watercress right here on Oahu, as well as some broccoli rob. Broccoli rob is a really nice vegetable, similar to a guy lawn. It has a little crown to it. it usually has some nice uh, yellow flowers on it. Now that I've started cooking my vegetables, next thing is the pineapple. So this is, was grown right here on Oahu from the Dole Plantation. That makes me very proud to actually use their product. Quick little cook on our pineapple. You can always caramelize it on a higher heat. I like a little bit of a lower heat just because I want to soften it up just a little bit and have it start to release some of those natural juices to it. Next, always at the beginning of our process, we want to add a little bit of salt. I'm using a Kona sea salt, amazing product from the Big Island. It's actually 40% less sodium than your normal table salt. So I always keep this on hand and keep this in stock. Finally, we're going to work on our farro. Just like fried rice, one of the last things we add to it. We just want to cook this down just a little bit. I also like a little bit of heat to it, so I'm adding some red chilies. A little bit of spice is always nice. Cook that down. Now the one ingredient I am going to omit is shoyu. Shoyu is great. Everybody loves shoyu, but you know I want to keep this low cal. So really, the the flavor is going to come from that pineapple. Man, this smells great. So it's time to plate. So what I'm gonna do, I actually have made a little pineapple puree, again with my dull pineapples. I've taken pineapple juice and reduced it down. This is gonna get a little bit more added flavor to that. We're gonna add our broccoli rob. We have a little bit of vegetable. Now is our pineapple fried farro. Look at the color on that. It's just nice and beautiful. You can plate this any way you want. Again, I have my pan-roasted mahi-mahi, caught locally, beautiful product. We're gonna add a little bit of roasted tomato. A little bit of our raw tomato. Again, lots and lots of color, lots of flavor. A little bit of green onion. Some of our local Sumida watercress. And last but not least, my favorite little ingredient, this is actually amaranth my gift to you from my personal garden. So this is my pan roasted mahi mahi with a pineapple fried farro. And that's what I call living locale. Aloha.
Anything you do with mahi mahi, you cannot me. you cannot lose. <laughs> I love mahi ahi. I love all kinds of fish, but mahi really is number one. <laughs> and the sea right salt—that's the key. Thanks, chef, for the tip. Thank you.